I feel like we kind of we, we kind of were hard on ourselves as leaders because this is not the outcome that we wanted in the in a few games that we had. But it was just we had to find a way to stay strong as leaders and try to lead these guys to a victory. And unfortunately, it didn't happen. But as a, as leaders of this group, we can't hang our heads too low or we can't be too high at times. We got to stay consistent. So. I feel like that's what we're working on is staying consistent and making sure everybody, else, every every one of our teammates got the leaders to fall on when they need to. Like anyone saw it coming, and why not? Uh, because I thought I thought we as players would execute better and perform better, and we haven't, and that's on us as players. But uh, yeah, I would answer for all of us that we're all shocked, and none of us thought we would ever be in this situation this season or at this point in the season. Yeah, I think he's completely right on that. I mean, after uh, after the game, I got a question. And I said that as players, we just got to execute better. Um, so I, I think. Torch hit the nail on the head on that one. I mean, that's all we were, all, the, all that we were focused on. So, yeah, I'd, I'd say we were shocked. <laughs> yeah, um, I'd say an initial first day I was shocked. Uh, I mean, obviously I got a great relationship, and I mean I can speak for for anybody that's played under coach or coached with him. I mean, just the type of man he is, it's, it's the guy you, you want to play for. I mean, um, he's so down to earth, and uh, he always wants the best for his players. So um, I mean, obviously, I have a great relationship. We'll forever have a great relationship with him. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm focused on this group up here and the team down in the locker room and getting us ready to go. So that's where I'm putting my, my energy towards. Um, I think for for a lot of guys, um, you know, obviously the situation is not easy, um, and nobody wanted uh, to see to see Coach Chris um, go. So I think uh, for me personally, um, it's fuel. You know, like Torch had mentioned, um, it's it's really on us. Like you know, we didn't execute, um, we didn't play the the football that we needed to play, um, and you know that this is a. Uh, um, a consequence of that. So I guess moving forward, you just kind of got to use it as fuel, um, like Coach Slender had said, and um, just kind of put your head down, keep moving forward. We still have a goal, um, and you know this doesn't this doesn't change our goal by any means. You know it's um, just got to be the same thing moving forward. I mean, I wouldn't say he was my head coach. Uh, coach Chris has been my head coach since I stepped foot on this campus. Um, he's, I mean, he's a mentor. He's one of my best friends. He's a guy I look up to. Um, I know all the guys in the locker room miss him. All the coaches miss him. Um, I know he's been a, a mentor for Coach Leonard as well. Um, and Coach Leonard just taking over uh, and kind of just reiterating that this is still we're still playing for Coach Chris. Like, this is still his team. We're still his guys. Like, he still loves us. We still love him. Um, but, I mean, at this point, we just need to put all our energy and focus on Saturday. Um. Obviously, I've never seen him as a head coach, but just on the defensive side of the ball, his understanding of X's and O's, his schematic knowledge for football is pretty impressive. And I'd probably say it's second to none in the country. And then uh, he's a great leader. Guys on this team respect him. So I think that's what makes him a good coach. And then as for a head coach, obviously, I haven't seen that yet, so I can't comment on that. <laughs> 